Hey everybody, how's it going? I picked up another Shadowless Blister from the same seller that I bought the other blister pack from a week ago. I emailed him and he said that um, he could sell me this one for $8.50 because the other one I paid $8.25 for because this one weighs a little bit more. He said it weighs 33.9 grams, what he told me. Um, and he showed me a picture of the of the scale. Now, I just put it on the scale a little bit ago. I'm going to weigh it again. It weighs like 0.1 less than that, which I can see the scales being that much different when I first weighed it. So I'm going to weigh it again. Anyway, here's what it looks like. It's got a little bit of, there's a little bit of lift on this bottom. Some of this, like, some of the glue is dried up on this, this edge here. So if you bend this cardboard, you can see there's a, you can you can make a gap up here between the plastic and the cardboard. And that's because these are over 20 years old. 1999. Okay, what's that? 24? Going to be 25 years old soon. So the, the glue dries out. So this is great condition considering how old it is. Here's what the back looks like. So let's weigh this. Oh, I got some some test weights too that are not 50 grams. They're uh, 10, 20... And uh, some other numbers on there too. So um, I'm going to put the 10 and the 30 on to see what it weighs. Look at that. See, that's how close these scales are. They're pretty damn close. Look at that. 30. Because my friends, one of my coworkers says, you should buy like a, a 30 gram weight instead of using the big 50 gram weight, which is right there. So that tells me that scale is reading perfect. So let me put it on there and see what it reads. 33.83 on that scale. Let me turn it over the other way and weigh it the other way. I weigh it both ways to see what it's see if there's any difference. 33.85. So let me write that down. This is scale number two. So number two. 33.85 grams. So let me put these weights on this scale and see what they read. Look at that. 29.994. It's pretty freaking close to 30. What they do is they um they drill out the bottoms to make these things weigh exactly. They probably like make them just a little bit heavy, and then they drill out with the drill to make them exactly 10 and 20 grams. So let's see what this weighs over here. Basically the same, 33.84. I'll flip it over and try it that way and see. 33.82. So the highest on that one was 84 grams. 33. So it's pretty close to that. So, And you remember in the last video I had this one here was the weight. And when I, and when I bought it. And then I had the one from a year ago that I bought. And here was the weight on it. 30, 33, 33.30. That was the light one that I paid back in 22. I paid 900 for this one. And I paid 825 for that one. I think I bought this one off of eBay. That's why I paid more money for it. This one was outside of eBay. And just like the one that I just bought was outside of eBay. So I just want to do another weighing and show you what I got. Now, obviously with cardboard, you know, um, there's a lot of surface area there that could be like some variations in weight. But pretty much what I've noticed is, is these are the heavier packs. And they can go up as high as 34 grams. Um... Because he says this, his was fluctuating between 33.9 and possibly 34. But as you can see, it's a little bit less on mine. He was on the West Coast and I'm on the East Coast. It's pretty dry here too. So I don't think there's any moisture in the air because it's, it's winter time. So anyway, I just want to give you a quick video on some of the weights that I just got from previous um, Shadowless blister packs. And then the new one that I just got. Um, I sure got a collection of Venusaurs, don't I? Anyway, I'll talk to you later. Give me a like. Give me a subscribe.